Hi, my name is Nancy and I'm an artist. Today for just a few minutes, I'm gonna talk about what art is and why I am an artist. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna draw a picture together. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil and then just draw the shapes and lines that you see me drawing and we will come up with a picture that we've drawn together. Have you ever been confused when somebody's trying to explain something to you? I mean, they're telling you and you're like, what are you talking about? Until they maybe show you a picture or take out a pencil and draw a diagram or a map. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I get it. That's what you mean. That's called visual communication. Visual communication often provides much more clarity and understanding than written or spoken communication ever could. I mean, after all, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. In fact, visual communication is so effective that it really doesn't matter what job or profession you pursue, it is a skill worth developing. Art is visual communication. Art is saying things with pictures. Now, so far, what we've been drawing together is just a bunch of shapes. In fact, you might be wondering to yourself what it is that we're trying to visually communicate. You know, when you look at an object, objects are made up of shapes and lines. And if you can recognize the shapes in objects that some people miss, then your drawing skills will advance rapidly. It's important to learn to draw to develop those visual communication skills. When you look at things differently than other people look at them, we call that creative thinking. Creative thinking is a skill that art exercises. You know, I have not always been an artist in fact, for the last 30 years, I have held various leadership positions, management, supervisory positions, and at one point was directing and overseeing a department of several hundred people. I found in all that experience that the most important skill to develop is communication. After all, that's what a leader does. They talk to people all day, explaining things and trying to get people to understand what it is that they're supposed to do or learn and how they can become better people, better employees, more highly skilled. I found that my interest in art proved to be very valuable in those leadership positions. Since a small child, I have always loved to draw and to paint, and I was continually exercising that skill, the visual communication skills, as well as the creative thinking skills. I think you can tell by now what we're drawing. We're drawing an eagle. You know, an eagle is often a symbol of strength and courage. And did you know that it takes courage and strength to be an artist? It takes courage to draw what you see. Maybe you realize that when you drew the first few lines with your pencil, it might have been a little bit shaky at first as you got used to the pencil and the smoothness of the lines on the paper. It also takes strength and perseverance to draw because your drawing may not always turn out how you want. You have to keep trying again and again. You know, this eagle that we drew today, and of course you can erase the lines from the shapes that we didn't use, but I hope it serves as a reminder to you of how important it is to exercise drawing skills. Whenever you have a moment, pick up a paper and a pencil, draw what's in front of you and practice, exercise those skills of visual communication. I also hope you'll continue to draw and use those visual communication and creative thinking skills to make this world a better place. And that is why I'm an artist. Thank you for listening and keep drawing.